This week on Tabletop Witchcraft, we're building a tavern. Hey everybody, welcome back to Tabletop Witchcraft. Come on, you all saw this coming. Everybody's gotta have a tavern. Here's mine, it's gonna be a two part video. So it did take a little bit of time to build, but as usual, like all my buildings, the interior is playable on all. I mean, this piece right here, you guys can build and use it all by itself as like a little cottage. So with this build, Drive Through RPG has a set of plans. It's for free for you guys to download. I drafted them up and I uploaded them there for you guys. So print those off and follow along. Uh, there'll be a list of all the stuff I used to make this in the description below. So if you're interested, go check that out. And with that, like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. And let's get crafting. All right, so let's start by heading over to Drive Through RPG and grab this uh, layout right here. It's free for you to grab, and you'll be able to pull all your measurements for the build off of it. So we're gonna start by working on the uh, foundation and uh, cut that out to size and uh, I leave a little perimeter around that. The outside's gonna be stone, the inside's gonna be wood. And you'll see I use in this uh, wheel here. It's not the greatest option for this. Um, you typically don't wanna use it um, where the edges aren't hanging off the side. You can see you got some roller marks there. Uh, those would come out in the end, um, but I probably would've used uh, something different like a brush for that on the next time. I'll throw some grid marks in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some stonework for the foundation. And then roll that out with some aluminum foil. All right, now we're gonna work on the walls here. Again, the uh, dimensions you can get um, off the uh, drive through RPG plans that I posted. And hot glue the uh, build together here, the walls. Now we're gonna work on the uh, Second story floor, we're gonna hot glue that um, to that base right there. And more grid work, and you'll see that line in the middle is messed up. I left that there on purpose. I want to show you guys, when you mess up, don't stress out. Uh, you can cut it right out. We're working with foam here. A little Eileen's tacky glue and another piece, you know, sets right in place. Redraw your grid lines over it and uh, you're back in business. You'll never notice that uh, once it's mod podged and, and painted. I'll just add some wood texture. And back to the plans. We're gonna cut this out to get our, uh, our end walls exactly the same. So we'll trace that out. And now we'll take a little hot glue. Um, I would typically use uh, two dabs. I did one here. Two will hold it uh, a little bit better uh, for you from spinning. And just line them back up. Now you can make uh, your cuts here and get two identical pieces. And then I like to cut the bottom just to make sure it's all square. A real thin piece. Now turn the procs on real low here um, when you make this cut so you have really good control over this angle. Again, this could all be done with a knife too, but. All right, now we're using the uh, roof line here to measure out the side walls, that angle. And we'll make that cut. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and glue all these together. You know, hot glue is my glue of choice here. It cures on you real quick and uh, keeps you moving. You can find a, uh, all the links below for all the products I use in this video if you're curious. All right, so now I'm just doing a few dabs of paint in each corner 
to mark where my holes are gonna be for my magnets so that they line up. So just go ahead now and uh, cut all those uh, paint marks out. And make sure when you put these magnets in that you get the polarity right um, on each opposite side. That way it's not you know opposing when you go to put it together. Now we need some dollar store uh, foam core board. And this will be for the roof. And what's nice about that is it's you know it's flexible, so it'll fit on there real nice. And then I'm just cutting a little brace here. For the roof. And this is just so that those two pieces on top marry together pretty decent. Again, don't worry about it being perfect. Um, this is all going to be covered up by shingles and multiple layers of different um, XPS foam throughout the build. And a little bit of hot glue to uh, stick that on there. go if you can leave a comment uh, down below I'm just curious how many of you guys um, actually play with a grid system as opposed to uh, no grid all right um, now we're just going to use the uh, plans again uh, to mark out uh, these little supports and just find a piece of scrap XPS and uh, just draw in as many as you can get on it and cut them on out these straight cuts, uh, you know, you can have the heat turned up a little bit on the Proxon, but for these angled cuts, you're going to want to turn it down so you can get a nice, uh, accurate cut. Probably around like one and a half temperature. And then just split those in half, and now you got a whole bunch uh, to work with here. Don't forget to add your wood texture. And again, by looking at the plans, you can see all of the uh, columns. Um, that I have uh, and just place uh, each one of these little buttresses where a column would be and you don't have to do it exactly how I did it but um, so just add a little bit of hot glue now for a column leave them long stick it on there once it's set in place then you can cut it off Alright, so uh, back to the plans uh, that I had for you guys. Um, that's just a window. I cut that out. That way I can uh, make sure I'm placing uh, my bottom supports in the right place so my windows will fit later on. Okay, now this is a 2 inch piece of XPS foam. And uh, we're going to do the chimney. Uh, so we just cut that uh, stencil out from the plans, copy it over with a pen, and then we'll cut it out on the Proxon. Yeah, and that's another thing too. If you guys uh, go on uh, Drive Through RPG and print off these plans, I'd love for you to just leave a comment down below that you've done that. And then just go ahead and draw out your stonework on here, however you want. Now outside, with a mask on, with the wind blowing everything away from you, I got a little soldering iron here, and I'm just tracing out my stonework. Um, you know, all the edges you can round off, you can add some uh, stone texture. Um, I found to be kind of a fun way of uh, doing stonework, especially for a small piece like this. And then add some texture by rolling it with some aluminum foil. And now we're just going to trace out on the uh, tavern where this uh, fireplace is going to go. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut all these out um, with an Ulfa knife or an Exacto or whatever you have. This 
This was a little nerve wracking cutting into the tavern at this point, but you gotta have faith in, you know, in what you're doing. So just kind of go for it. All right, and now what I'm doing is uh, I cut the fireplace, the chimney, um, to each separate level. That way when you take it apart um, to play on each level, obviously that'll come apart. And we're gonna do something cool here. We're actually gonna make it so when you're in the tavern, it's gonna look like there's a snuffed out uh, fire in the fireplace. You know, and if you do this uh, right, you shouldn't really see the uh, the cuts. Um, but again, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's it's for tabletop gaming. You know, if you were doing like a, a scene or something, I obviously wouldn't make all these cuts in it. All right. And don't worry about that little gap with the uh, the chimney on the roof. Again, you're gonna cover up uh, all that with uh, shingles. All right, now we're gonna start with some details and some woodwork. One of the cool things about this build too is this top part of the tavern, you can use it as a standalone house, which is a, a nice little bonus. So yeah, just use the plans uh, to follow along where all those uh, beams go. Again, you can you know do whatever you want on your own for this too. All right, now we're gonna cut out some window frames. And uh, no surprise, I used you know hot glue to put these little things together. You know, you could use tacky glue, but um, then I went ahead and um, this stuff you could find at like a, a knitting shop or a sewing shop. Um, I lay this out in a diagonal pattern. That way, it just makes it look a little bit more interesting than putting it in square. But it looks like you know a cool lattice work in the window. Now I'm mod podging it all black. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint uh, most of this piece up separate. That way I'm not working, uh, you know, on all these tiny little areas um, on the model once it's all done. So I'll paint the black there, the back there in black and get that out of the way. And while all that's drying, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the, uh, the door here. All right, now that these dry, I'm gonna go back and just grab some metal color and paint up uh, all this framework right here. Lattice work. And you can do that any color. You can do that wood color, or you can do it black, like it's iron, wrought iron or whatever. And then we're gonna use some brown, paint up the frame. Let that start to dry. Now we're going to work on a uh, dormer window for the top of the tavern. So just take a two inch block and mark out the back angle of the roof on it so it sits flush. And then uh, any, you know, any curved or angled cuts, I always do real slow in a low heat like this. All right, back to the plans. Cut out the windows. Now this is the uh, window cut for the dormer. So I would have cut this piece out first, 
um, before I cut that swooping angle out. So I had to actually put the piece back together to make this cut properly. Now I'm just making a bunch of windows for the rest of the build. Oh yeah, I'd love to know too, uh, if you guys don't mind, let me know uh, what you use for glass when you make windows down in the comments. So now we'll go ahead and we'll just take an X-Acto and cut out where the glass is gonna go uh, once we're done here. Add your wood texture. And then we're gonna Mod Podge it all. All right, everybody, at this point, we're a little over halfway through. We got a little bit more work left to do on the building, then we're into painting, and then the fine detail work, like the ivy growing up over here. Now, I wasn't gonna do it, but as a little bit of a bonus, I decided to do some interior walls for the second story of this building. They are magnetized, so that's pretty cool to see how that all kind of comes together. That'll obviously be in next week's part two video, and if you like the whole build so far, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next week, I'll see you guys around.